so this week I've got a different type of vlog for you guys. Um, we are going to do So The Trends. So I am here in Oxford Circus, just outside the big top shop, and I'm going to go and check all the shops on the high street and see what is hot at the moment on the high street, and then I'm gonna pair the pattern so that you guys can sew the look. Shop, just having a bit of a look around at everything doing a spin and um, there's lots of good stuff I think um, I've kind of been in here now for about 15 minutes and I think I've got the run of what is going to be hot this season so on to so I'm gonna leave now and go on to my next stop which is and other stories I'm now outside at Other Stories, which is one of my favourite shops actually. They are part of the group that owns H&M and Cos, and they always have really, really lovely stuff, so I'm going to go in and have a proper scooch around there. I'm going to try and avoid going to the shoe department, because that's where I always end up buying stuff. So here's the window. <laughs> Lots of good stuff. Um, yeah, let's see what we find. I am just outside pretty much the best shop in London, it's Liberty. Um, I have done a few of the shops and now I'm just going to go in here and just have a little look around and see if there's anything in the haberdashery department and also I'm going to have a look at all the sort of designer stuff because that's always great for inspiration even though you can't afford any of it. So here we go. Just crossing the road and trying not to kill myself at the same time. Before we go in there though, I've just got to show you guys. I don't know if I can flip the camera on this, let me. We just have the moment to appreciate all the lovely stuff outside. Hello everyone, um, so I've just got home and I have had a look on the internet, I've had a look on um, on the fold line as well to have a look at all the patterns and decide which are the ones which I think you guys will really like. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some pictures of stuff that I saw on the high street or saw online um, and then I will talk about patterns to go with them. So the first up is the trench coat. So I've just showed you some pictures of some of the stuff from the high street and now I have found the perfect pattern to sew this sort of loose drapey um, trench coat. So it is called the London Trench Coat which is easy to remember and it's by a French company and I can't really pronounce the name so I've put it in the, in the image and I really think this is perfect. It's You should make it out of a drapey fabric definitely otherwise I don't think it would work as well it's not lined um, fit issues fairly minimal um, it does up by a wrap so you literally just tie it and it's done and um, I thought this was like really close to what I saw in the high street and there have been a few of these over the summer as sort of transitional pieces from summer through to winter but I looked and there's still loads and loads of them in the shop so I thought this was the perfect pattern for everyone to get cracking if they want to make their own drapey waistcoat. Um, next up we have the Parker coat and here are some examples of high street versions that I saw that I thought were really nice and this pattern is actually a really new one it's from Closet Case Files and it's called the Kelly Anorak and I think I probably wouldn't have called it an anorak because I mean it is technically an anorak but it's very much like a parka um, it's got lots of really nice um, details so you can have um, an optional drawstring it's also not lined um, so I'm assuming that you probably do Hong Kong binding on the inside um, pockets all the things that you'd expect to find in an anorak and a really nice hood as well um, Closet Case Files, Heather always does really incredible sew along. So if you look at this coat and think, there's no way I can do it, you can. Um, just wait for her to start doing her sew alongs because they're so amazing and there's photos and step by step so you can definitely, definitely kind of move on and do something a bit sort of, a bit more advanced. So next up we have got 
I guess it's sort of like a, like a mixture of a 1970s coat and a sort of boyfriend coat. So these are the samples that I saw, some of the stuff that I saw in the high street. And in terms of the pattern, I've gone for, I'm going to have to look at it again, it's the Birda 6736. So I didn't massively like the short version of this, but I like the long version, the sort of mustardy colour as well, which I'm a fan of and I'm actually wearing today. And um, I thought it was really nice, like really relaxed. It's quite actually quite a simple make because the collar is just, it flaps over, so you haven't got any sort of really tricky bits. Patch pockets, it doesn't have a tie, but I thought if you could either, if you wanted to, have tie you could just make yourself one and tie it around or I quite like the sort of double breasted because that's a bit of a sort of nod to the 70s so moving on that note there is still a massive trend for 70s fashion so these are some of the things that I saw on the high street sort of classic 70s dresses and I've got two um, patterns for you guys so I've got the Megan Nielsen Nielsen Sudley dress which is a really nice, simple, classic 70s shape, loose fitting. It's actually reversible, so you can wear it front or back. So the little tie bit, you can have it at the front or at the back. And quite a simple make. But I like it that you could wear it over jeans as well as wearing it just as a dress. And it was very much on trend with all the things that I saw in the shops. So the other pattern that I've got is the Vogue 9198 and this looks a little bit more like, you know those sort of classic 80s Laura Ashley um, dresses, I thought this was quite similar to that and there, was, there were loads and loads of dresses in the shops that were like this so I thought that was a really good like match and yeah I mean it's fairly simple high waisted um, gathering and sort of, I think there's sort of a placket at the front, so it should, it's very much on trend and not too hard to make as well, which is always a bonus. So the next thing is ruffles, which I know sounds quite general, but they were literally on everything. Um, sort of 1970s dresses, but also, and I sort of covered that 70s vibe earlier so I think I've gone for a more structured version of this so there were quite sort of simple shapes of ruffles on and these were the examples that I saw on the high street that I really loved I think they're really nice so the pattern that I have chosen to go with this is the Moana dress from paper cut patterns which came out a few months ago and this is a dress and a top so you can mix and mix and match and it's quite a simple make, kind of a shift dress with a ruffle going round, round the centre of it. The thing I like about it is the ruffle isn't straight across the waist, it goes down. So it's more flattering in terms of the, f like, more flattering. And the top could be a really good, like, wardrobe staple, I think. Um, yeah, it's a goodie. So, what have I got? Ah, yes, I remembered. So, I'm sure... Loads of you guys have seen pinafore dresses in the shops. They've been here all summer and they're still here for winter. So I was really chuffed to see them because I really like them personally. So these are some of the examples that I saw in the shop. Um, lots of different places I saw them. And then I've got two different versions or two different patterns, sorry. So the first one I've got is the Roberts collection from Marilla Walker. And I think you'll, it's, in terms of fit, it's very loose fitting, so it's kind of, I guess, boxy, boxy in shape. I've made it actually, it's really, a really nice pattern, um, You and it's quite fun because you use poppers if you want to, so you get to use like a bit of hardware and get out the hammer and nails. It's not hammer and nails, it's like press studs, I don't know what I'm saying. And um, yeah, it's a nice one, really nice make, simple to do, didn't take me too long. And um, yeah, I think that's everything I have to say about that one. The other pattern I've got, um, which you'll have seen, I think it's the middle middle picture, was a more of a classic pinafore. So this one is a quick sew and it's a 4138. And I love this, it's really cute. I haven't made it yet, I keep meaning to make it. 
really simple make in terms of fit as well. So it's a gathered skirt with basically a little, like a bib on the top and straps. So it shouldn't take you too long to make. And I think it would be a real wardrobe staple actually, because you can wear different color tops under it. You can make it more dressy if you wanted to. And yeah, so those are my trends for this um, winter. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this, because if you do, we were thinking about doing one kind of every month with different themes and different trends, which you guys, if you guys like it, we'll definitely do. But if not, no worries. So I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below. And also don't forget you can subscribe so the videos just come into your inbox every time. So bye.